This video will demonstrate how to create embedded citations using Sourcet. Embedded citations are required anytime you summarize, paraphrase, or quote information in an essay. This is an example of an MLA essay. You'll see that there are embedded citations, highlighted in green, everywhere the student used a quote or summarized something from another source. Each of these embedded citation points to something in the works cited page to tell the teacher this is where I got my information from and the page I got it from. Here are some simple examples of embedded citations. You'll see that they have the author's last name and then the page numbers. The page numbers aren't always standard because sometimes they are from an appendix or a prefix. It gets trickier when there is no author. In that case, you always use whatever is first in the works cited page. Most often, the title of the article or the title of the resource. Again, you give page numbers if they are given. Go to Source It and then go to General Rules under the Embedded Citations in MLA to find out all the specific details about embedded citations. Some are very complicated. When you are creating an embedded citation for a short quotation, you put the embedded citation after the end quotation mark and before the period. When you are preparing an embedded citation for a long quotation, you indent the long quotation on both sides. You don't use quotation marks and you put the embedded citation after the period. When you are summarizing or paraphrasing from another source, then you need to put your embedded citation just before the period. Visuals must have very detailed citations in an MLA essay. So whenever you use a chart or a photo or a piece of music, you need to look up the specifics of the citation. You'll see that it's much more like a works cited entry than like an embedded citation. Shakespeare is treated differently in that instead of page number, you give act, scene, and line number. Act is always given in uppercase Roman numerals. Scene is always given in lowercase Roman numerals. This is an MLA essay. We're going to put our embedded citations in. The first embedded citation has no page number because it's from Our Lady of Peace, which is a CD. The next item comes from, oh, I can't remember. I'm going to go look at the works cited page. Oh, right, that's where it's from. Bliss, there's no page number because it is a website. I'm going to scroll down. The next item I, requires no embedded citation because I listed the resource in the text of my sentence. The following embedded citation comes from West on page 48 and the next one from West on page 25. Because this is also from West, I don't have to say West again. Remember, you should always check Source It for specific instructions.